Good morning. It's the middle of July. We are at Islay Creek Campground, Montaña de Oro State Park. This is our beautiful, beautiful cove here. And that's the Pacific Ocean. But today, we're going to talk about this beautiful, beautiful tree. Very unique. We say Monterey Cypress. Hesperocyparis macrocarpa. And he's a type of cypress. Now, it used to be called a Cupressus macrocarpa because they thought he was related to the old world cypress trees. But scientists have determined that he's not. And they love this natural, ocean, cool, moist habitat. And they constantly bathe in the fog that rolls in off our coast here. Now, our Monterey cypress is described as a medium sized coniferous evergreen tree. He can grow about 130 feet tall. He's very irregularly shaped. He's gnarled and wind sculpted from the winds that come off the ocean here. And they give this beautiful flat top on these trees. Isn't that great? And they're not always this thin up here, only on the cliff sides, but they get a little more full, like this guy here. And also I'll show you a few more as we walk up to camp. So this guy here, he's very rare. He only grows in two places in the entire world. A place called Point Lobos and Cypress Point down at Pebble Beach. But before the Ice Age, they actually extended all the way up to Canada. Now he's been planted in lots of places. He's been planted here. He's been planted in Oregon, out to Europe even New Zealand, and you find a big field of these at Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. But unfortunately, if they get too far from the coast, or the coastal fog, they get infected with a fungus. There's a disease called Cypress Canker. Let's just take a closer look here. Now our Monterey Cypress, right, has a species name, Macrocarpa. That's because it has these giant nuts here. This is related to the California juniper that has small nuts. These guys here are big and macrocarpa means large fruit. These guys get about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch and a half long and they've got six to fourteen scales around the outside and they're green at first. After about two years they turn brown and each cone, it's called a cone, it's got about 140 different seeds right here. And the leaves, let's take a look at the leaves here. They're about a tenth of an inch long. And the younger trees, they have needle-like leaves, but these guys get a little thicker. They branch out a little bit here. See that? And they're uh, bright green in color. And they grow in these really dense sprays off the stems. And they've got a little waxy coating on them. And that waxy coating helps reduce water loss or transpiration. And um, it's got a little bit of a lemony smell to it. Wow, so the trunks, here we go. This trunk can get about eight feet in diameter or maybe 20 feet all around in circumference. And sometimes they're really gnarled, super branchy, like we have here. And they're very wind sculpted, like I mentioned. And the bark here, a little grayish in color, it's got deep vertical furrows here it's real soft to the touch very soft it's a nice tree wow we got some more over here look at the way it's wind sculpted like that
I love this tree. You see it in a lot of art, artwork, California artwork, where you got this beautiful cypress tree sitting on a hill. And that's our beautiful ocean. So let's take a walk down the trail and I'll show you some more that aren't as windblown so you know what you're looking at. So here's the other side of our cypress trees. See, it's kind of just slanted and wind-shaped. It droops all the way to the ground here. This guy's pretty nice. Wow. Look at these guys. Unbelievable. And here are a few more that are a lot fuller. Here and here. This guy's a little smaller. Now you can kind of sculpt these little bonsai trees if you want at home. Here we have another one of our cypress. This guy's really, really full. Look at this. You can tell all the super gnarled branches coming out of here. How wide the trunk is. Almost like multi trunked. It's really, really gnarled. Absolutely beautiful tree. Here's a little green fruit. So he'll take about two years to turn into our big old uh, fruit or nut right here. So here's another of our Monterey Cypress. Here. Here. So they kind of come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. This guy's really full. Lots and lots of fruit. Here's another one of our cypress. It's got this beautiful flat top. It's very full and branchy and lush as you get to the bottom. A couple other little factoids. So the foliage, it's slightly toxic to livestock. The logs are used by craftspeople, some boat builders, small manufacturers, for furniture and decorative wood. It's fast burning wood, so not good for firewood. And there's several cultivars. Some are dwarf, some are tall, some are used for bonsai trees. The most popular one's called a gold crest or a lemon cypress. Oh, wow, I love this tree. Monterey cypress, Hespero cyperus, Macrocarpa. How about that? Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.